and this is the Daily Aztec Ghost Dining. We've all gotten something to eat on campus before, whether it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at a market, dinner at a dining hall, or your favorite latte from Starbucks, there doesn't seem to be a shortage of food at San Diego State. But I wanted to find out what it takes to feed SDSU and where exactly it all comes from. When it comes to food on campus, it all starts here. I am at SDSU Food Receiving. This is where all the distribution and purchasing happens. And as you can tell by my tired eyes and messy hair, it's really early, but I'm ready to work and I'm ready to see what they have to give me. It may not look that fancy, but without this place, we'd all be very hungry. Before products are sent out to all the locations on campus, it goes through here where it's processed and counted. Now I want you guys to all know that I'm looking out for you, so I made sure that a very special product got to you all safe and sound. Right now we're looking at a palette filled with Starbucks products. We're all thankful that these will be shipped on time. It looks really easy when you guys do it. Um, I swear I'm a good driver sometimes. Got it. <laughs> now we're on our way to go drop off the product at Starbucks. Uh, shipments are made daily and especially in this week of finals, it's really important that students get their coffee on time. They're not really letting me drive the truck by the way. Next I gotta learn a bit more about how our campus is helping the environment. Twelve of the SDSU dining locations are certified by the Green Restaurant Association. That means these establishments have comprehensive requirements in categories like water efficiency, sustainable furnishings, and pollution reduction. But it doesn't stop there. Many of the establishments on campus are committed to serving cage-free eggs, providing vegan options, cooking with locally produced ingredients, and using recyclable packaging. Next, I decided to check out one of the restaurants that prepares fresh meals daily. I am standing outside of SDSU's buffet-style dining hall called The Garden, and I'm going to see what it's like to work during the dinner rush. Behind those kitchen doors is a group of chefs who are constantly working to improve the menu and all of them have noticed one thing. Students do in fact want to eat healthier. So today I'm helping prepare salmon for tomorrow's dinner rush. Each piece of salmon has to be cut in a precise manner and they all have to weigh an exact four ounces. What do you wish students knew about the dinner that they eat about work? Uh, I think I think it's just uh, getting the word out about what we're doing. Uh, it's really that we're cooking back here. Uh, we don't have any magic microwaves or any of that where um, the chefs that are in the units are part of the American Culinary Federation. So we're all part of um, a organization of chefs. So it's a chef driven menus, not only here, but also at uh, UTK as well. Okay, let's be honest. Now, despite all the healthy food, I know what you guys really love. The tater tots. Other than being around all of the delicious foods, my favorite part of the night was actually cleaning up, as strange as that sounds. Introducing the true heroes of the kitchen, the guys who are on the other side of the tray accumulator. After you're done eating, you put your plates away and they come back around here. And this is probably one of the most important things is where 
your food scraps get put into compost, the dishes get washed and sorted. During peak hours, the garden can serve thousands of students. That's a whole lot of dishes. Now I've seen how all the food is made, but I still don't know where it came from. So I went to go find out. I am at the College Area Community Garden. Yeah, I didn't know we had one either, but we do. And I'm gonna work with one of the student farmers here. I was instructed to wear clothes I don't mind getting dirty, so I left my uh, formal gowns and, and dress shoes at home. Nudged between the parking structures on Zura Way, the community garden is home to some of the fresh foods distributed on campus. Currently, there is some chard, celery, and peas growing, and even bees come to lend a hand. But the true architect of all this great food is Trevor, an SDSU student. So yeah, this is the uh, San Diego State Community Garden. It's one of the biggest community gardens in San Diego. And it's also one of the most high-tech. We have a beehive, we have our own compost station, um, we have the trees, we have a vineyard, we have a water reclaimer. A lot of places don't really have that, they just have the plots. So what are you, are you composting what comes from dining? Yeah, so we actually can't compost that because we can't guarantee it's organic. Oh. But like the stuff like this, it goes straight into the compost. Oh, neat. And then uh, this actually becomes soil. So. This was a vegetable mm -hmm. before. We have been cutting chard and celery, and after we're done with the plots, we're gonna go deliver them to the dining services, and they are gonna cook them and serve them for dinner. I think a lot of us have a misconception when it comes to food on campus. We have the wrong impression that it's all pre-made, frozen, and never fresh. But with SDSU, that's just not the case. Dining services on campus puts in tremendous efforts to be sustainable, eco-friendly, and most importantly, fresh. So remember this next time you buy food on campus. A lot more work goes into it than you think. For The Daily Aztec, I'm Cami Buckman.